Hey, you guys, Natalie here, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I am so glad you're here because today I have a really special video to share with you. Tommy, Ruby, and myself just got home from a trip traveling throughout the Southeast, and we learned some things. We were kind of on a mission to see a lot of friends and really answer the question, can we farm? And so we're gonna be talking about that with you guys in today's video. Join us today as we learn what it takes to farm with Justin Rhodes and his family. So as you can see, here is our little family joining their bigger family to do chores for the day. And I'm at a stage in my life where I'm learning what does it look like to navigate life and small business and growing food in the backyard with a baby. And where we come from in the city, sometimes it's almost like kids can be seen as a hindrance. And it's this mentality that I'm really learning to break. Um, they, they're a blessing and being able to see how the roads navigate life and family and farming all together, it's encouraging that this way of life is actually something that's possible for a family to do together. Granted, when you have little ones, very little ones, it's, it's more challenging, but it's still something that's possible. And I drew a lot of hope from that. And I know that the early bird life isn't for everybody, but I actually like waking up early and having something to do. Tommy, how do you feel about that? Well, you know me, I don't like to wake up early, but once I'm up and it is early, it's beautiful, the air is crisp, and it can be enjoyable. And you get more out of the day too, which is nice. That is so positively said, which is something that you really need. You need a lot of positivity when you're scrubbing. Um, welcome to the first time I've ever done chicken waterers you guys i felt like such a noob like justin was trying to explain it to me and he had to kind of intervene and help me because i literally had no idea what i was doing but you know what once he taught me then i knew what i was doing and i could do it on the other ones so he let me go ahead and and do the the geese up top too um but yeah it was kind of embarrassing i really didn't know what i was doing but i learned i learned we learned it was good Are you pleased with that? Is that good? Did we do that for you? <laughs> so Tommy, I know you have an affinity for unique animals and it made you happy to see this little goose living his best life. Uh, tell me your thoughts on geese and chickens. Oh, I loved it. I actually didn't know why they had a goose. Well, they had several, um, so. I got the 411 on that, and they basically are raised with the chickens, and they believe they're a chicken, but they're there as an early warning system against predators, which I thought was really cool. But geese are cool, and uh, I think chickens are cool as well, so I think, for me, I would want to start with chickens. They're like mini dinosaurs. I think they're really cool. Um, if you've never seen a video of a chicken killing a mouse, it's really cool. <laughs> Okay, yeah, starting with chickens is is where we're gonna start when it's our time to get started. I was so intimidated. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was very intimidated picking up these pans from the pigs. I was like, wow, you're like four, 500 pounds and I'm supposed to pick up your little pan. I was very intimidated. I think starting with chickens is gonna be the way to go for us. So I got to feed the chickens and that was really exciting because uh, like I said, I like chickens, they're cool. And uh, it's kind of cool because it's an excuse to buy a goose as well. <laughs> so I have to say it was actually really cool to see you feeding the chickens. I didn't tell you this uh, while we were on our trip, but it was kind of a surreal moment for me to see you on this farm that I've watched for so many years on YouTube that 
helped inspire me to get started. And then here I was with you feeding the chickens on this farm. It was really neat. And it was cool to see you get in there and get your hands dirty feeding the chickens. And you loved it. There's footage of you talking to the chickens. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ignore the man with the camera, chickens. I know you want that food. Oh, they're getting excited for this food. By the way, it was six months until these guys laid. Something that really struck me about the farm life is just how physically intensive it is. And I actually liked it. I felt very accomplished at the end of the day. I felt like, okay, I, I, I worked out, I did something. And it's a very different kind of workout than working out here the way we do around the house or going for rock walks in our neighborhood. It's a very different kind of workout, especially on their property, which is full of like hills and inclines and things. And so, you know, we watch so many people on YouTube do their farm chores in and out every day. And it seems so easy, you know, here's this footage that's on 5X speed and it just seems so simple, but it is a lot of manual labor. And I think that is something to consider when you're considering farming. And so I kind of like this idea of starting with chickens and then slowly adding to it as we go. Sleepy baby. Now, nap time is where it's definitely helpful to either have baby in a carrier or have partner take baby to nap time. This was absolutely one of my favorite moments and I was so grateful to have Tommy there to be with Ruby so that I could enjoy feeding the cows because if you know me, the animal that I long for the most, 10 out of 10, is a cow. So we can just like get some chickens and then get a cow, right? Yeah. Right? That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a really special moment for me. I've never really been even this close to a cow for this long and it's you know, own environment. And something that Justin was talking with us about behind the scenes is like, this has taken weeks, even years of work to train these cows to get in their stanchion and get ready for milking. And here I am just a perfect stranger to this cow. I mean, we've never met up until this point. And because of all of that training and because of all of their hard work and their diligence to handle their animals with care and love and affection, Here's this cow with this stranger, me, and she got on her stanchion and I got to give her a little alfalfa as a good job and she, she did great. And like that? Yeah. The idea of having fresh raw milk every day is so appealing to so many of us, to me especially, and to Tommy, who absolutely loves dairy. But there's so much more that goes into it that we don't really see beyond the milk. There is so much love and care and affection and training and hard work on the hot days, on the rainy days. And that is something to consider. And that's something that Justin kind of, you know, informed us of and he, he taught us about. And it was good to consider that, you know, it's not just the milk, it's all of the hard work that surrounds that milk. And that's an important consideration.
But I will say that getting to milk the cow was probably one of the highlights of the trip for me. I've always wanted to milk a cow and this is really my first time outside of a field trip in kindergarten, however many years ago. So I got to milk her and with Justin's teaching and encouragement, it just calmed all my nerves to really be present in the moment and lean on her and just enjoy the process of milking a cow. It was really, really cool and really calming. You can go like this, look. You can not only, you can grab your this out yep. of the way with your left hand, and you can push your leg back with your right hand. Okay? All right. I'm only squatting that far because my knees won't, won't let me go down, okay. but you can, you're comfortable. So like this? Yep. Right. Feel free to rest your head on there. Connect. Get some animal biome. So there are many ways to farm, but today Justin Rhodes showed us how he farms and homesteads in a regenerative way on his land. What are your thoughts? Do you think we can farm? I think I know where we can start with chickens. <laughs> but yes, I think, uh, I think we can do our own version. I think for me, what Justin is doing is really cool and beautiful, the way he's taking care of the land. Um, but that level isn't for me. And that is fair enough. That is a very good observation to know that starting at this magnitude would be a lot. I think it would be a lot for anybody, especially just beginners like us who don't even know how to clean out chicken waters properly. <laughs> But I, th I think that's good. And I love your point that he does it in a way that honors the land. And my final takeaways are that we can definitely farm, like you said, in our own way, starting small and learning from there. But this really drove home the point for me that this is how I think life was meant to be connected to our food and connected to the animals and regenerating the earth as families, as communities. And it's definitely something that I hope to be a part of as we continue to grow here at Hey, It's a Good Life. Thank you guys for joining us today. And thanks for being here as our adventure unfolds and as we decipher what's next for us in this journey uh, known as Hey, It's a Good Life. Thanks for being here and we'll see you guys in the next one. As you can see, I'm feeding chickens. <laughs>